What's going on, RV Cinematic Universe? This is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge, and I'm standing in front of a 2024 StarCraft Superlight 252 RV. This floor plan will blow your mind. So before I show you this awesome new fiberglass trailer that we just got in, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications so you can get excited with me every time we put new content out. So let's check this thing out. All right, so I'm at the front of the trailer now. So we've got a big time pass through storage here. Um, you are gonna have the GoPower 30 amp solar controller on here. So 200 watts of solar up top. Now this pass through storage, one thing I do like about it is that, well, I guess I should say two things. One is that it has a motion activated light in here. And two is that this trailer is inverter prep. So we'll talk to you about this in person if you ever ask, but it's always good to let you know on the video. Inverters are not for everyone. Everyone does not need an inverter. But if you want it, if you're doing some sort of boondocking or off your camping, an inverter could be a really, really useful feature for you to have. So this is pre-wired for it. This is also pre-wired for the Furion side view camera. So not only is it pre-wired for the rear view camera, also the side view cameras as well. That's a feature that I really, really like to have. On a smaller trailer like this, you might not need it, but if you want that extra level of comfort and assurance, that's a good way to go. So underneath the trailer, we have electric stabilizer jacks. So you've got two stabilizer jacks in the front and two in the rear. Now you've got two entry doors for this travel trailer. You've got one that leads you into the living room and this front one that leads you into the bedroom. So this compartment to the left of the bedroom door is actually a RV, or I'm sorry, not an RV, but it is a little mini fridge. So you don't have the true outside kick cooking area, but you've got a propane connection in the back, so it's already pre-wired for your propane connection, and then you've got the fridge. So hey, you can rock and roll, and instead of having an outdoor kitchen area where you're stuck with that little grill that they give you, you can bring your big 22-inch Blackstone and cook whatever you want, hibachi for all your friends, hamburgers, whatever you want, you can get it. So you can probably tell also that I'm standing under the shade of this beautiful full-length awning. So this awning does have LED lights. This StarCraft also has JBL speakers. The speakers, the, J, the, the difference between the JBL speakers and the manufacturers use is night and day. It's not that crispy, or I guess it's not that crunchy, static sound whenever your music comes out. It's a nice, crisp audio that's got some depth and clarity to it as well. So... We're going to swing around to the back side so you can get a view of these heavy duty entry steps that they put in your main entry door. Okay, so I'm by our main entrance now. So it already has the Lippert heavy duty steps. This is a feature that if a trailer doesn't have, can always be added later. But we always like to save you some money so you don't have to add on a ton to the trailer right off the bat. This does have the heavy duty steps. So I really like that. It makes it a lot easier to get in and out of. I noticed even though I'm young, I hurt my knee a few months back and it's still giving me trouble. So it's a lot easier getting into this than the normal steps. So there's also a sticker that you're gonna see here that says kid and pet friendly. What does that mean? Well, that's a question that I can better answer from the inside. So remember that kid and pet friendly because I'll point that out once we get inside. All right, so we're inside the trailer now. So this is the rear bath unit. I'm sure like your eyes are glued on the back of this. This bathroom is awesome. We'll get to that in just a second. But first I wanna point out our kitchen area here. So you do have a deep sink. It doesn't have the pull down feature on the sink to be honest. I use that feature a lot so I, I would like to have that but it's still a nice big sink. And then it does have almost like a hybrid sink cover. If I remember correctly, it's basically almost like a like a drying rack for dishes, not a true, um, not a true sink cover that adds this extra countertop space. Now that's something that's really easy to build. We can build one of those out of wood. But just wanted to point these things out to you. So, what I, what do I mean when I said kid and pet friendly? So the cabinets that are on this. So now this stuff like like your fascia and stuff like that. That that stuff is particle board. But the actual cabinets and the drawers. The fronts are solid wood. So why is it kid and pet friendly? Well, one, because kids and pets are kind of hard on things. But two is because since this is a solid material, not just a particle board with like paper over it, these are going to stay looking fresh. They're not going to scratch up and get all dingy and nasty and, 
and start to peel away. So we actually just took uh, a trailer like this on, on in on trade, and some of the trailer was a little bit worn, but the fronts of the cabinets and the drawers looked fantastic. And that was a four-year-old trailer, and I don't know if they had dogs or kids, but they were not. They did not treat this thing great. But the fronts look fantastic. So that's what they mean by kid and pet friendly. There's also another step to that, or another piece of that puzzle, is that you have no carpet in this trailer. So no carpet means it's not going to hold smells as bad. And your kid can't spill crayons or can't spill, you know, Kool-Aid and, and mash crayons into the carpet. So that's a big plus. To my right, we're going to have our three top burner here. We're also going to have our microwave. It does have a fan and a light above, uh, I guess you call that a range, um, above the burners. Now, a feature that I do like is it does have an oven. So sometimes you get a convection microwave with no oven. This, you actually do get the oven. So that's a fantastic feature to have. And then the fridge, you might have seen this on one of our other videos, but the fridge has a little trick up its sleeve too, but I'm going to make you wait for that. I want you to see this bathroom. Psych! We're going to save the best for last. That bathroom is awesome, but you have got to wait to see it. I'm going to show you this fridge. So, nice. That's pretty normal fridge, right? And wow, that is actually insane. This is a 12-volt fridge, so we just hooked the generator up to this thing like 35 minutes ago, and this fridge is already pretty cold. And yeah, this freezer is already freezing. That's awesome. That is the benefit of a 12 volt refrigerator. So big props from, from Cam. I really like that. But what is the trick of this has? So we can open it from this way. But hey, if I'm watching TV standing really close, watching the LSU Tigers win, and I want to grab a drink, I can open it from this side. Not bad, right? If I want a popsicle or maybe like a, I like ice cream, but maybe if I, you know, was to get some, uh, some chunky monkey Ben and Jerry's, I could reach right in here and grab it. Or if, you know, I'm cooking, I can reach in and grab it. So I know I'm over-illustrating that, but this is an awesome feature to have. It's going to be very, very convenient. So to the left, you've got cabinets. Again, solid wood cabinets. You can pull and feel these things and feel the quality. Below me, we've got our another cabinet. And then we've also got our um, fuses and breaker panels here. So this is going to be our Connex TV uh, and also below that, you've got your entertainment center with the JBL sound system. So JBL speakers outside, JBL speakers inside as well. Also, we're going to have the Furion 15,000 BTU AC up top. So like I said, we haven't had this thing run for that long. And it already feels pretty nice in here with it being low 90s right now. So to my right, we're going to have your recliners and a dinette. Also, tons of natural light in this, which you can probably see. And we're going to flip and show you just how open this floor plan is. So I just mentioned that it's a nice and open floor plan. That is true, even with it only having one slide. It is a good size slide, but the reason why it feels open to me is all the natural light. You've got two huge windows on the outside of the slide, and then on your edges you have two more windows. So four windows in the slide. It's a lot of light that comes in. I really, really like that. So you've got your dinette here, big tabletop for the dinette, great for playing cards, great for having multiple people who are gonna eat here. Of course, that will drop down and make to a bed, so you can really sleep four people in here without a problem. So there's a feature behind me that I really like, which is the recliners. So there's a special little trick that that has. I'm going to swing around so you can get a better view of what I'm talking about. So I'm sitting in the recliners now. Now, these recliners are still manual, which I always say, you know, I love to have electric recliners. It's what I have in my house, but I don't really care. That's not anything that makes that big of a deal to me. But what I do really, really like about this is, so manual recliner, but... You have these cool blue lights on either. That doesn't really do a whole lot for me. It's cool, but that's not what I'm talking about. These recliners, are they will massage you and heat you, which it's like I said, it's low 90s. I'm not about to turn on the heat, but this vibration, it feels nice. Now, also, you might notice these little circles here. So this is actually uh, a spot where you can put, it's a small TV tray, but a little TV tray on either side of the recliner. That'd be nice for like putting a drink or uh, even setting your book or like a little plate of food too. So I do really like these recliners and they're located right across from the TV, which is great. And that TV will, will swivel as well to give you a better viewing angle. So I'm going to show you the bedroom. And like I said, I saved the best for last. You're going to want to stick around and see this bathroom. Wow. So I just walked in this bedroom for the first time. So we, we got this trailer in yesterday. And as soon as it came, I'm like, we have to do a video on this. This trailer is awesome. And I didn't even look in the bedroom. This trailer just keeps getting better and better. So to my left, you have a closet. I like. I had no idea. You have a big closet with hanging space. Um, it's. I mean, it's huge. And you've even got a little cubby storage there. This is a very nice surprise. I had no idea that it had. So we do have our second entry door here. Nice little walk in the dog, or I guess just if you need a second entry point. 
um, but tons of cabinets in here. And like I said, hardwood. I mean, these are solid. So you've got the space to the right and left of the bed. Additional hang space here. The same with the addition, add on to the closet behind me. You're going to have plugs and so 120 plugs and wireless chargers on both sides of the bed. Um, so the plugs will be great for a CPAP. You've got the little shelf here. If your CPAP's too tall, it works perfectly right there. Also, you've got a drawer on either side to put your knickknacks and stuff that you want to keep by the bed. Um, and then you've even got click lights here. Now, bonus for you, this is a 60 by 80 queen. So this is not an RV queen. This is not a 60 by 74. This is a 60 by 80 queen. So this is a regular residential style queen. So if you want to change, and actually this mattress isn't that bad, but I talk about it all the time. Mattresses are going to be the low point of, of really a lot of, a lot of RVs, but especially travel trailers. That's a place where, where the manufacturer can save because they figure you're probably going to change the mattress anyway. Because some people like them hard, some people like them soft, some people like them medium. Some people want to put a dang water bed in this thing. But this is a regular size queen. So you can put it in whatever extra mattress you have in your house. You can buy another one and it's regular queen size sheets. So big plus there. So I know I kept you guys waiting. I got one more thing. I do want to point out this does have the WineGuard 360 Plus. So it's able to put out Wi-Fi. All you have to do is activate that with your mobile subscriber. So let's check out the feature that we have all been waiting for, guys. Let's see this bathroom. Man, check it out. This had to be worth the wait. We hope you stuck around, didn't fast forward through because there's a lot of nice features in this trailer. But check out the shower, man. This thing is huge. So you've got the glass doors here or maybe maybe plexiglass or whatever you call it. Eh, it seems like real glass. Um, but big time shower here. Skylight. I always forget what this is called. Skylight is what it's called. We've got a nice skylight here. Super roomy shower, tons of elbow room. I got a nice movable shower head here. I've got a vent here to kind of get out some of the, the steam that comes from the shower. But check out this countertop. I don't know if this is solid wood or I, I don't really know exactly what this is, but this is really, really pretty. It's a nice, like almost like a cabin kind of feel to it. Really light wood here that in contrast to the darker colors that are in the living area. And then the white cabinets with your vanity here. Again, this is solid wood. Um, so these are going to hold up for a while. Now, to my right, so not only is this a huge shower, really the, the bonus feature that I want to show you is this side. So let's check it out. Okay, so check this closet out. So I, that was legitimately a true surprise that there was a closet in the front. I had absolutely no idea. This one I did. I've been keeping this in my back pocket waiting to show you. Um, but this is the closet that's in the bathroom. And this closet's even bigger than the one in the front. So tons of hanging space here. You've got the sliding door to seal this thing off. Lights in the closet. There's hangers here for like coat hang or, or what do you call these little jacket hangers. Um, but also you have three different cubbies here that go, I mean, that's probably about two feet deep where you can put shoes or roll up clothes or, or really there's a lot that you can store there and also tons of drawers. And guys, I know I'm harping on it, but you got to come and feel these things. The quality is fantastic of these drawers and cabinets. Um, also, this is a nice plus too. You have USB plugs in here and also 120 receptacle. So you've really got everything you need to have a nice little closet here and have it kind of stowed away. So this was a feature that I've been hiding out, guys. So I want to kind of wrap this thing up in the kitchen area so you can see how open this thing is. But man, this is a nice feature to have. This whole bathroom in the rear is top notch. Man, this trailer is just absolutely jam-packed full of surprises. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I did a pretty good job of covering everything, but I know I had to have missed a feature or two because I keep finding new things. But yeah, this is the 2024 StarCraft Superlight. 2252 RB. This is a must see floor plan. You have to come check this out. If you want to find out the price and any more information about this, hit the link below. We've got a link to all of our inventory with pictures and updated prices so you can make sure that you're getting the best deal at the time. So, guys, yeah, we really hope you like this video. Don't forget to like it, share this to your friends and family so they can check this thing out too. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.